Yo, what's going on, guys? It's your boy Kimbo here, and it's time for an epic Bakugan Battle Planet unboxing. I gotta adjust my chair. There we go. So, yeah, well, we got this bad boy right here. An epic three-pack featuring Arliss Gorthion Ultra. So, yeah, man, it looks so, so good in Arliss, man. Gorthion's pretty dang awesome, you know. And I love the gold and the silver on it. It just looks so, so awesome. And I love how it looks like a helmet on it, you know, with all the silver and such. But, yeah. Um... And, yeah, it just looks so, so sick. Then we got, uh, looks like a Pyrus Serpentis right there, which I do have one of those, so I'll put that off to the side. And then I'm pretty sure that is a Darkest, uh, I think that's Vice Rocks. So, yeah, man, just looks so awesome, though. Like, the purple and the green already in the ball form, it looks so, so sick. But, yeah, time to look at the back. And, of course, it comes with one Ultra, two Bakugan, six cores, three ability cards, three character cards, one instruction sheet, and a battling rules sheet. So, yeah, man. Um, and then it shows off the arena and the storage case down there. Obviously, the YouTube channel at Bakugan. Definitely go and sub to them if you haven't already because they put out, like, episodes and such. Um, they don't put out, like, all the episodes, but they've been putting out episodes recently. And they also have shorts that are exclusive to the Bakugan YouTube channel, which is really, really awesome, man. But, yeah, one of the craziest things about it being, like, in the U.S. this time around. Like, like I said, it's rare for, like, something to start in the U.S. and then go abroad. But, yeah. Um, anyways, it's time to open this bad boy up. So... Here we go, dude. Still can't believe we're on wave seven, man. Like, <laughs> so many Bakugan have been dropped this year. It's crazy. And just to think, like, we got AA as well, and that'll be, like, the last card series for this year. But imagine, like, at the end of the year, they're going to start, like, gearing up to announce season two and then, like, whatever card, uh, you know, card series they're going to have with that. They're going to have three per year. That's, like, the pattern that it seems like it's going to go. Because we have three this year, so each year we're probably going to get three. And when I was at the event, I asked them, um, you know, and they said they're on set seven. So that means they're making cards for, like, 2021. They're already done with next year's cards. Um, and they're working on, like, 2021 cards, like, now. Maybe even, like, eight, you know, <laughs> which, is which is pretty crazy. But, yeah, maybe wave eight. So let's get into the cores. So we got the Magic Shield, uh, minus 400 for that one, so definite trap. Got a Flaming Fist for plus 6. We got a Fist for plus 1. Um, and then we got a Magic Shield for plus 500. That's a pretty good one. Uh, regular Fist for plus 2. And then uh, Flaming Fist for plus 150 and plus 4. Not bad at all, man. A little bit of B-Power and also a lot of damage with that one. So, yeah. Anyways, uh, I guess I'll just get into the Bakugan real quick. So, we're getting the Serpentees first because you already know, like, Pirate Serpentees. I have unboxed it already. So, yeah. Um, let's see. Is it strong enough to pick up two? Nah, I can't really pick up two. But um, it does have 600 Bs, so it is pretty dang strong. So, definitely don't sleep on this bad boy. And plus, it has a pretty awesome Evo. I'm trying to work on making a deck with uh, Pirate Serpentees, actually, like, at the current moment. That's one of the next ones, so... It's kind of a spoiler alert for the next one. I mean, I've got a few uh, deck profiles that I haven't even put out yet. i got to put those videos out. But, yeah, man, I hope you're looking forward to them. Hope you guys have been liking the deck profiles, too. Because, like, like I said, I like doing it, like, obviously making some competitive decks. But also some decks that are really, really fun to use, you know, that you wouldn't ordinarily see. You know what I mean? Because I like, you know, like the, I like the competitive aspects of the game. But also, like, just fun as well. You know what I mean? But, yeah, and doing things out of the ordinary. So, next up, we've got this Bakugan right here, that being Vice Rocks. Actually, I'll save Vice Rocks for the end, because we have Gorthion. Um, and it's already, like, showing what it is. So, yeah. Um, we have Arliss Gorthion. So, again, the silver looking like the helmet. I think it does have a helmet on, actually. Um, but the gold and the silver look so, so awesome, man. Looks so sick in Arliss. And it's B-Power 600. That is pretty strong right out of the gate. And plus, it's Arliss, too. Like, dang. Like, don't sleep on this bad boy. But, yeah. So... Way to close it. Uh, it's got the spring in it. So you just close the... Basically, you just close, like, the arms and the legs and then push it together and fold the head in, and that's how you close it. It's one of the easier ultras to close. So, yeah. Um, yeah, level of one, they said. And that's definitely that. It's one of the easiest ultras uh, to close. And last but not least, we have Vice Rocks here. I'm pretty sure this is Vice Rocks. So, yeah. Here we go. And, yeah, man. Darkest Vice Rocks. It looks so sick, dude. Look at the green eyes. That looks so awesome, man. It looks so, so cool with the green eyes and then the green mouth. Obviously, all the black on the claws. It's got green, and it's also got purple. And I love its ultra because its ultra is asymmetrical, you know. So, one of the arms is way longer than the other one. It's pretty cool, man. But, yeah, the core looks so, so awesome as well. And I love how they just pay homage to the old series with the core Bakugan. Like, yeah. So, so awesome, Spin Master. So, yeah, you can see all the legs down there. They're all black with a little bit of purple on the sides. And just looks so, so good and darkest, man. 
But yeah, hashtag Darkest Brawler for life, and also hashtag Arliss Brawler for life. If you love Darkest or Arliss, let me know in the comments, because those, those are my two favorite factions. I mean, I got them tattooed. I, mean, I gotta show them off. Come on. Like, yeah. Boom. And then I got the darkest one, but it's a, a little bit harder to see. You know, I can't maneuver my arm that way, that angle. But, yeah. Anyways, the way to close it, so you just put the arms in, you put the legs in, and then you just basically push the head down. And that's how you close it. Really, really simple. All of these Ultra, well, all these Bakugan in here are pretty simple to close, even like Gorthion Ultra. So, yeah, man. Now it's time to get into the cards. So, you guys have seen the roster. I've shown it off a few times. It's massive, by the way, but yeah. So, I'm guessing we're going to get, like, Scorporos Ultra and such in the next wave. Um... But yeah, you know, for the sake of this, I'll just show it off real quick. So basically, I mean, this is Wave 7. So Wave 8 probably is going to be like more uh, factions for Pyravian and Phaedrus, you know. Um, yeah, because the Aquas Phaedrus isn't out right now. Phaedrus Ultra, so it's going to probably come in the next one. More for Lupithion, I think. Or yeah, I don't know if it's out in Ventus. I don't think it's out in Ventus. It's out in Arliss, Darkest, and Chaos for sure. Um, and then we're going to get Ultra Scorpios probably next uh you know, with the next wave. Also, uh, Triceratops, which is Trino. That's Trino Ultra. They just have tri Triceratops on here. But, yeah. So, we're just going to get it a bunch of different uh, factions. And also, Goreen down there. So, yeah. That's probably what we're going to see with, like, the next factions and such. They're probably not going to add many more Bakugan to this. Maybe a couple more. I don't know. But they still got to put out Tico, man. Like, come on. I'm so hyped for Tico. I want to see Tico so bad. <laughs> but, yeah. Anyways. Let's get into this. So we've got Serpentine right here. B-Power 600 damage of 1. So it is pretty strong, just not that much damage with it. But still, Flaming Fist and a regular Fist. Uh, a lot of B-Power. Then we've got Vice Rocks here. Darkest Vice Rocks core. Comes with a Magic Shield and a Fist. B-Power 500 damage of 3. Not bad, especially because it comes with a Shield. You can get up to 1100 Vs. Like, easy. That's pretty crazy. Um, and then, yo, okay, so there's a manufacturing thing with Wave 7, so some of the cards get switched around, so my Clopdor came with, like, the Gorthion card, I think, um, and it's funny because the Gorthion comes with the Clopdor card, so I can actually use the Clopdor now, but yeah, here's Clopdor Ultra's card, um, B-Power 400, damage level of 2, and Double Fist, so yeah, I'm glad I have that card, like, they actually put it in here, like I said, they're just switched around in different packs so you got to get a lot of wave seven to get the cards for the actual bot gun which you know for people that don't have that much money or anything you know and it's hard because i totally get that um you know it's kind of a struggle with that but still just so so awesome and that artwork was so so sick for clock door um and then we got a uh, firestorm right here uh, and it's four to get it out, plus six. Arliss Power. If you have an Arliss Bakugan on your team, it's plus 12. And that's pretty wild, dude. So this could actually be really effective. Like, plus 12 damage and four to get it out. Get it out. That is not bad at all. I think, like, what? Because Blaze is, like, about, like, what, four cost and it's, like, ten uh, damage. But, yeah. So we got Darkest Blast, plus 1,200 Bs. A lot of damage with that one. And then we got Fang Strike, flip card. Um, you stop Arliss. And if you do, then you can make then you can make a pirate attack for four. So that's really useful, dude. Fang Strike, yeah, man, AA is going to switch up the game. I don't know why people are saying, like, it's not too good of a series. I mean, we haven't even fully gotten it yet. Some people might have gotten it. But, yeah, there's some really, really big game-changing cards in here. Like, like even that one, you know, like, it stops Arliss, and if, if, if it does, like, you get four damage, and that's one cost. So that's pretty crazy, man. But, yeah. Anyways, guys, uh, I guess I'll just show you the opening action for Gorthion real, real quick. So... Here we go. I'll go with the Jet Kuso roll with one finger. Like, yeah. Just three, two, one, Bakugan brawl. And there you go, man. Ah, oh, I went off screen. Of course you did. But it landed on his back. But, yeah, you know, it basically just popped open like that. You got to really roll it in order to get it to, like, roll forward like that. But still, it just looks so, so awesome, man. But, yeah, guys, that is it for this unboxing on this awesome Bakugan Battle Planet. Aurelis Gorthion Ultra three pack hope you guys enjoyed if you did be sure to slice that like button down below let me know how i did if you're new to my channel definitely be sure to subscribe for some epic epic content because i upload daily and if you haven't already be sure to ring that bell about my channel name to be notified whenever i upload a video so yeah guys till next time it is your boy kimbo signing off see you guys later thanks for watching until then stay awesome and bakugan brawl i'm up out here